Yo, what's happening? King L, the realist, back at you. Let me tell you something. We sit around and talk about our problems to people. That truth being told, don't give a damn about our problems. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, we go to people who are in a worse situation than us, and we get advice from them, then we get mad at them when their advice don't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they are idiot for offering advice that they don't know nothing about, but sometimes we can be just as big of idiots for listening to them. You know what I'm saying? We out here, we out here, and I've been a victim of it too, you know what I'm saying, but I'm enlightened now, you know what I'm saying? Thank God I've been illuminated to to, to the reality of a lot of things in life, you know? We are, here, we are here giving our life to the pastor instead of giving our life to God. You know what I'm saying? But you wonder why your situation ain't getting no better because the pastor is your God. Damn the pastor. Damn the church. Damn the fellowship. You know what I'm saying? I might get some backlash from this video, but I don't care because I'm keeping it real with you. And you just got to be real enough with yourself to listen to me and at least try it if everything else that you tried ain't working for you. Damn the pastor. Damn church. Stop giving your life to the pastor and give your life to God. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you got pastors out here, you got pastors out here fucking little boys and little girls. You got pastors out here gunning their wife down at the front door of credit unions. You got pastors out here that's getting the church to buy them jets and planes. You got pastors out here that's putting ATM machines in the church to make sure you don't miss no tithes and offer, but you pay them tithes and offer, and you can't go and borrow no money from the, from the church because they on a budget, but you've been paying your tithes and offer. Like, come on, man, like at some point we gotta wake up. You know, you out here talking to everybody about your problems, but you ain't, you ain't giving God your problems. You know what I'm saying? And then when we get into a situation, into a real tough situation, we go, we go talk to flesh. You know what I'm saying? But we're looking for a blessing from the spirit. That's backwards. You know what I'm saying? How how can, how can a preacher man tell you, you know, you, you sow, sow into the church and God going to bless you? Okay, how, I'm a, how am I going to use something of the flesh, which is money or, or whatever type of gift, something of the flesh to receive something from the spirit? That ain't right. It ain't right. But a lot of us ain't never stepped outside uh, uh, of what we believe to try to look at the bigger picture. You know, you want to run to the church house with your problem when the church house got more problems than you. And this ain't nothing to pass the church. I'm just telling you, damn the pastor. Damn church. Damn the hell with a church. It should be you and God. You know what I'm saying? Have a relationship with God. Because at the end of the day, God is the only one that can fix your situation. You know what I'm saying? God ain't looking for you to be perfect. God ain't judging you because of what you done in your past. God ain't still holding you to who you used to be when you was 13, 15, 20, or 36. God loves you for who you are, and God meets you where you at. God can change your situation. God is the omnipotent. God knows it all. God is the one who wrote your journey. God is the one who's going to direct your path. God is the one who, 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 who holds your future in his hands. The pastor don't. Your mama don't. Your daddy don't. You know what I'm saying? Your friends don't. Stop talking to everybody about your problems. Stop giving, the, stop giving the pastor your life and give God your life. Give God your situation. Give God your marriage. Give God your, your troubled kids. Give God your stress. Give God your pain. Man, I done, I done, man, I done been on drugs, man. I done been, man, my life done been hard, man. But all this life, all this time, I've been, I've been going to people for answers and never can get a damn answer. But like I say, I'm enlightened now. You know what I'm saying? I'm illuminated. So I'm, 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 I'm I see life for what it really is. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and going to the church house is not going to get you to heaven. It's a bus headed to hell that come by the, that stop by the church every Sunday. And you best believe that bitch is full. Like for real. It's full.
You know what I'm saying? But we get into these situations and we act sporadically, you know what I'm saying? And, and not really being sure of what we really want in life. So I'm gonna leave this advice with you. You know what I'm saying? When you think you're sure, you need to get sure and be sure so you won't have to wish you were sure. Once again, when you think you're sure, you need to get sure so you can be sure so you won't never have to wish you were sure. What I mean by that, but when your marriage is going through and you tired of your spouse and you think you want a divorce because she said something to you that really broke your heart or he did something to you that really broke your heart, but at the end of the day, you really love that man, you really love that woman, you ain't sure. You know what I'm saying? But you mess around and get a divorce and that man or that woman on somebody else's arms now and they doing good because you really weren't sure. You thought you were sure, so you need to get sure so you don't wish you were sure. You get into a situation, you know what I'm saying? And you want to talk to people about your situation, but they don't get you full clarity like God could, and you go out and ready to kill somebody, you need to get sure. And be sure that's something you really want to do is end somebody's life. Because when them prison doors shut, it's too late to be sure. It's too late to get sure. It's too late to make sure you sure that's what you wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, people, I'm keeping it real with you. Stop going through, stop stop living in the clouds, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop having a one-track mind about life. Stop, stop, stop being carnal, man. It's time to wake up your spirit. Stop trying to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Stop not wanting to talk to God because you didn't commit adultery before. Stop not wanting to talk to God because you didn't been on drugs before. Or you are drunk right now. You know what I'm saying? Or you got a lustful spirit. Or you like money. I like money. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with God. I, I don't I don't have that, that low mentality. Oh, if I could just get a little bit. God, I'm so thankful. Hell no, God. I want it all. I want it. I want the money, God. I want it. I want the opportunities. I, don't too many opportunities come to you in your life. So I want it. I'm honest with God. God know what you want, but you got to keep it real with him. Stop going to people. How you going to talk to broke people about being rich? You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really, I don't really discuss money with a lot of people because a lot of people ain't got the dreams I got. They don't have the aspirations I got. So that's really a burnt conversation to tell you the truth. You know, I just came to drop a little knowledge, man. I know it may rub some people wrong, but hey, anyway, still like and subscribe. I thank you for the support. I thank you for the comments. Now, I will reply to your comments. But I only keep it real with y'all because I love y'all, man. And I hate to see people keep struggling. I hate to see people keep keep being into these mindsets that they got to go to the church house for a deliverance. But you don't even realize some of these church houses you're going through is making your situation worse than what it really is. If you just establish a relationship with God on your own, man, shit, I cuss. I, shit, man, look, I cuss. I get angry sometimes. I, I still got carnal ways, even though I got morals, I got integrity, I got strong character. That don't mean God front of pound me. I'm favored. I got grace. I got mercy. Satan, Satan can't touch me. If he can touch me, he ain't going to kill me because I got God. And I don't need no pastor standing behind a pulpit to let me know I got God. When you dig deep within yourself, you're going to realize how much you got God. But you'll never realize how much you got God. You keep on talking to people about your situation. Let that marinate. King L. The Realist.